Spencer Coburn's The Ball Truth. So a lot of um, physicians from dis- different disciplines, and that's how the whole industry has been built, right. uh, have gravitated to hair transplant right. surgery. Right. And there's more than you would like to think that don't necessarily have the interest of the patient in mind when they get into this field. Yeah, I mean, you know, I could even just say my own personal example. I have buddies of mine that have started doing hair in the last year. And, you know, I've gone on their website and you'll look at their website and top hair transplant surgeon, you know, has done so many cases and all this stuff. But you'll look at their site and they have like four pictures. And it's like the pictures that the device manufacturer like gives you to put on your website. But I mean, I know myself, you know, buddies of mine that, you know, are like, oh, you're doing hair. It's so great. It's so, so easy. It's like, well, no, it's not really easy if you do it right. And, you know, your cases take a long time. And, you know, you're doing all this stuff by hand. It's really not easy. It's it's hard work. It's, you know, a lot of focus, a lot of dedication, and it takes a long time to learn how to do it right. Hair transplant surgery, in my view, and I've been, I've been preaching this for a long time, but sadly, even a lot of your colleagues don't want to put this out there because this industry was built on, you know, building this and billing it as a commodity. Right. They, they didn't want patients to... Uh, recognize that it was actually surgery. surgery right they wanted them to think that it was just like going to the dentist right it was just a simple outpatient procedure in one day just like the old bosley commercials hair flies from the back of the scalp to right. the front and magically you have this great head of hair right with this hot you know young chick on your arm on the back <laughs> of a boat you right. know hanging out and that's essentially you know in my view the old guard created the monsters sure of this field so now the old guard is panicking because, like you said, your young buddies are now getting into the industry thinking, right. well, this is simple. This is what we've been sold. Right. Hair transplant surgery, in my view, is probably one of, if not the most nuanced and elegant forms yeah. of cosmetic surgery. Yeah. There is. There's so many variables right. to you know, getting a really great final outcome. Right. There's a, there's a ton of variables. And, you know, the only way you really learn those variables is just by doing cases. Just yeah. by doing lots and lots and lots of cases and seeing different, you know, different patients and different skin types and different designs. And I mean, it just it just comes with experience and it's not something you can just buy a device. I mean, it's like, you know, I always tell patients or friends, it's like buy a piano, right, and stick it in your room. You can't play it like a, you know, concert pianist. Yeah. You, you need to. That's to, a great analogy. Right. You, you got to you need thousands of hours to play on the piano. That's right. And it's the same. It's not, you know, yeah, you, I mean, you know, in that case, you can get a, you know, one of those self-playing pianos, <laughs> right. but that's not what hair transplant but, surgery but that's, is. That's, that's a great analogy. That, that's exactly what's being sold to right. these doctors. Yeah. They're, they're being sold player pianos, right. in a sense, and, you know? They, and it's when, not. When they're being sold a neograft or an artist or anything else, and, I, and I'm just naming those two devices, right? Um, at, at least in the minds of the physicians, and I could say this for, uh, from firsthand experience speaking to physicians. Right. They believed that they were being sold, and that's why we call it turnkey, the entire right. procedure. Like, right. this machine does this. Right. All you need to do is hire these technicians right. who happen to work, that they were trained by us, right. and you guys, and you don't have to do a thing, right. make an extra $10,000 bill every day in the back of your practice. Right. And uh, that's actually very funny. It's like, it is like buying, they think they're buying a player it's piano. Like, it's like what it is, but it's really not, because it's real surgery.